Once again, it's time for the Fools Be Tools treasure trade, which is basically a secret Santa thingy. This year I got Andrew Lind, and amongst the things he listed, two things stood out to me. Heavy music and Star Wars. So let's make a heavy metal lightsaber. My first thought was to 3D print a lightsaber and then pimp it out, but when I brought that idea to my 3D printer specialist, aka my father-in-law, this is more or less how the conversation went. Hi Nils, about that 3D printer of yours. Yeah, yeah, they are the file that I sent you, yeah? 25 hours? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a bit much, I guess. But... What would you say about just printing the top? I have an idea for the rest of it. So now we have this base pipe, which will fit rather nicely, I think. Note that this drawing is not to scale. And everyone with a keen eye will recognize that this is Darth Vader's lightsaber. This is the tip that is currently being 3D printed. Here in the middle we have a dark band with some things sticking out, and here are some dark strips. And when we're talking about dark bands and strips and things sticking out, and wanting it to be heavy metal, there's only one way to go. Leather and studs. I ain't gonna even try to get this nice on camera because it's it is a hassle trying to make it fit. So you're just gonna have to live with watching it like this. So, 
if you would want to mod it, you could just put a flashlight in there. But that's up to you, the user. Because I am running out of time. It is currently the 25th and it's supposed to be shipped out today. The postal office closes at 4 o'clock and now it's 10 o'clock. And I have a bit to go and hopefully get some beauty shots. Uh, otherwise, you know, while the thumbnail is rubbish because I ran out of time. This is not a forced YouTube drama. This is just reality. I think it's cured now.